What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This morning we've woken up bright and early, ready to head down to Oso Retro. Now we've just stopped off for some breakfast and then we're gonna get back on the road and head down to Margate. Here we are at Medway McDonald's. It's almost like a ritual now. Every year we come here, get a Mackey's breakfast. We're all parked up now at Oso Retro. Anyway, the sun's shining down in Margate, so let's have a look around Oso Retro. First car of the show that we've stumbled across is this Honda Z City car, I believe it is. I see one of these at auction before, but I've never actually seen one on the road. Really interesting little Honda. Come across some nice VW camper vans, this one being a T1 and this one here a T2 with some really, really cool Porsche wheels on it. Lovely looking Cortina here which I believe it's got a Galaxy engine in it. Yeah, that's cool that is. What looks to be a very clean and original Mark III Fiesta and it's actually for sale. They want £2,100 for it. Really nice Mark II Escort with a ST170 lump in the bay. I think I've seen this before. It's got some really cool re-stitched seats and like this orange piping around them makes them look proper cool. Now here's a retro Vauxhall that you hardly ever see anymore. It's Vauxhall Astra Estate in completely original condition. That's got to be rare to see in 2023. We've just come across this Vauxhall Astra GTE and it's actually four wheel drive and very, very clean. I've got to say, loving the chequered roof as well. Really liking the little bread van. Found this old Merc, pretty intrigued about it. Look at that, all blue interior. And just look how low it is at the rear. Pinto and this Mark One Escort built by Ron Harris, as it says on the side of the cam cover. And another chequered roof, loving that. Mark III Fiesta that's got the RS Turbo body kit on it. Looks really nice. Seeing more door Mark II Escorts just makes me want to get mine on the road. That's lovely. Park next to a Series 2 Escort RS Turbo, which is in mint condition. Look at that. Only just started really looking around this show, but there's such good quality classic cars that have been bought out today. Got this Mini with its wide arches and wide, I think they're Mini light wheels, or this is Sup Alight. Guessing they're some different brand. Mordor Mark 1 Golf. Not too sure on the plate, I think, is that Belgium? Back onto checking out the old school Fords. We've got a Mark II Escort Estate and next to it we've got a real custom job. This was a Mark I Escort Estate and it's had all of this front end and wing sort of moulded in to make this droop snoop sort of DIY job. But I really like the look of it. 
It's definitely a custom job. Very bright Mark 1 Escort estate here as well. With Pinto in the bay. Lots of chrome and pink silicone hoses. That's very cool. Unique colour as well. Some pretty interesting artwork on the Sierra. I've seen this done to a couple of cars now. I'm not quite sure if there's a name for it. But yeah, very bold. Just found this Mark III Fiesta. It's been converted. It's got a 1.8 ZTEC injection engine in the bay. It's got all the body kit on it as well and the Cosworth alloys. I found another really cool bread van. Wicked number plate and it's also on some stills. I'm not sure if these are the original stills or not, but yeah, they're sitting really well. Been lowered slightly. It's just been tweaked to perfection. Lovely looking Escort RS 2000s. Baby blue. What a colour. Just been looking around this Mark II Transit Club Mobile. Apparently there's only 150 of these ever made. RS4 spokes and some semi-slick tyres on this Mark II Fiesta that we've just stumbled across. It's also got four massive spotlights on the front of the tiny little hatchback. It may be 2023, but max power still lives on in this Escort RS Cosworth. As you can see, the wings have been altered along with the rear quarters. That is pretty wide at the back. I've got to say, it does look quite cool from the rear, actually. Attendance for Mark II Fiestas this year is on form. We've got another Mark II Fiesta here, next to another Maritime Blue Mark II Fiesta with its gold wheels. Now, I'm sure as soon as my dad watches this video, he'll be able to tell me what car this is. But it's got a front end of a 100E Prefect. It says Escort on the front of it. so And it's a sort of an estate sort of car. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure what that is called. Very nice Mark 1 Escort Mexico here. Just looking and checking out the paintwork. It's lovely, it's like this metallic brown colour. Yeah, proper, proper nice colour. Check out the 5.7 litre V8 engine that's now in this Capri. Proper crazy. And also, I think these wheels are Mercedes wheels with Ford centre caps, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure they're Merc wheels, but yeah, what an absolute animal. I'm not too sure what the engine is out of, so if anyone knows what that 5.7 is out of, whack it down in the comment section. I'm really liking the smooth front end on this Mark VI Escort. Yeah, that looks nice and clean, that does. First Metro of the show, proper little survivor, showing a couple of signs of ageing, but you know what, it's still here and on the road. I really don't see many metros anymore. Talking about the first metro I've seen, this is a MG Metro I've just spotted. All of the old livery on it as well. See, we've got a sticker up here for the Brighton National Speed Trials. Proper cool thing. All stripped out, two bucket seats in the front. Really like that. Absolutely loving the Nova. I'd love to own one of these one day. The best thing about this one is it's still on its steels. I don't think these are original. Got some really skinny tyres on there as well. Lovely. Now you do normally see Mark 1 Escorts with bubble arches, but how about this? A Mark 4 Escort van with these big bubble arches. I've also changed the rear door as well. That's a very unique build. Another rare sight these days, a Mark 1 Cortina Estate in very original condition. Oh, I love this, when people have the books of the restoration progress, loads of pictures there. You can tell a lot of time, effort and money has gone into restoring this. Another very nice 100E Prefect. This one looks very similar to one that my dad used to own in this sort of burgundy colour. With the stills and the hubcaps on them. That's cool that is. Just been looking around this sleeper of a Mark II Fiesta. It's got a two litre ZTEC engine in it, built by HT Racing. It's running 230 brake horsepower. Another Mark II Fiesta with some big front lights in it as well. Lovely Pinto in this Mark II Escort. They've even got the car airbrushed on the cam cover. It's really nice. Orange with the orange RS wheels. 
We've got two very nice Mark I Cortinas here. Although this one says console, I think that means it's slightly earlier. Different grill on this one. Silver top Z-Tech in this Mark II Fiesta. They've had to relocate the radiator as well. They've used a bit of an old metal ruler. <laughs> And also, these are the biggest ever wind deflectors I've seen. Look at the size of them, it takes up nearly the whole window. They must have been like custom made or something, but yeah, that's pretty unique. And it's also got some RS2000 wheels. I think it was like the Mark V Escort RS2000 that had them wheels. But yeah, pretty cool. Very nice Mark I Escort van, which has been stickered up to be a Mark I Mexico. Are you sick? We've got an Anglia here with a very modern engine out of a ST180. Pretty crazy. Running 318 brake horsepower. Another Nova with some glittery paintwork. But it's also had the back chopped out. Yep, it's a Nova pickup or Ute, I think they call them. Really lovely looking Mark I Golf on these BBS wheels, split rims. Oh, I've got to love a bit of baby blue on a classic car. A lovely looking Mark 1 Fiesta. We actually come across this earlier, spoke to the owner. He's done all of the restoration and the work himself. It's got a really clean 1.3 engine in it still. And a rear quarter opening windows. All the petrol stations are full of old classic cars. There's old little red Fiesta behind us, Kieran, he's on YouTube as well. And just like that, oh so retro has come to an end. We managed to go down to a section just off from the promenades and park up all five of our fiestas and I got some drone clips. The show itself was brilliant. I really do look forward to it in September. It sort of rounds off the summer nicely with lots of variety and also loads of auto jumble and trade stands. Massive thank you to everyone who came over and said they watched the videos. I always do appreciate the support. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you all for watching. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.